Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today we are doing something special. Cynthia has prepared a test. I've prepared a test. Now this this is going to be posted as a beginner's, but it's not. <laughs> it starts beginner. it starts off easy and then it progressively gets more difficult. Okay. Well, yes, I guess. Yeah. It M gets difficult. It, <laughs> it gets difficult. Entonces, vamos a hacer... Es un test de cómo se dice. ¿Cómo se dice? Mm, ok. Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. So, Cynthia, what, what's this... ¿Cómo se dice? What's the purpose of it? Right, so what, what I'll do is I'll give you a sentence in English and then write down, pause the video and write down as many ways as you can think of to say that sentence in Spanish. And oh. let's see if it matches. You may have more than I have. Okay. <laughs> I have, some of them I only have one, some of them I have two or three. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. Okay. Okay, so am I telling you a new answer? Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. Okay. So the first one is... Sandra and I agreed to meet here. Mm -hmm. yeah, agreed, yeah? Mm -hmm. Gordon. Okay, so the one that comes to mind is Sandra y yo. Sandra sí. y yo, muy bien. Quedamos en estar aquí. Okay, that would be agreed to be here. Mm -hmm. I just, okay, could be a possibility. Uh -huh. I wrote, Sandra y yo quedamos aquí. Ah, quedamos aquí. Quedamos okay. aquí. Mm -hmm. like, this is the place of, Okay. The, this is the meeting point mm -hmm. or the meeting place, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's where we agreed to meet, yeah? See? ¿Sí? Quedamos mm -hmm. aquí. Quedar is to agree to meet. And I, I can't think of another, I can think of a very long-winded way of saying that, but... but Go ahead. Y Sandra y yo hemos hablado y hemos decidido... <laughs> Estar aquí para tomar algo. Okay, well, you don't Pretty know if it's it. tomar algo. <laughs> it could be for anything else. <laughs> but, hemos quedado. Much easier. Para tomar algo. <laughs> para tomar algo. You've been in Spain for too Just, long. <laughs> for me, quedar, it naturally goes without saying that they're going to have something because it's here in oh, Spain. Oh, 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 no, you can agree mm, to meet somewhere so that you pick me up and then we go somewhere else by car or... Sure. It could be anything. Sure, yeah, that's an expression. Sí. Eh, pues, ¿en qué quedamos? What are we agreeing to? So it's just an agreement, uh -huh. isn't it? Muy bien. Mm. Uh, number two, you scared me. You scared me. Okay, so I would say, me asustaste. Muy bien, me asustaste. Me has as asustado. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be... I've got that as well, but that would be more like, you've scared me. You've yeah? scared me. Which is... Yeah, más, me has but, asustado. Perfecto. We would say that as well. Mm -hmm. Me has asustado. Mm -hmm. uh, With other verbs. Mm -hmm. What other verbs can we use the susto, fright? Mm -hmm. In English, mm -hmm. for example. You've what given me a fright. You've given me a fright. Okay, so... Me has, me has dado un susto de me la ha, leche. Okay, me has dado un susto. Mm -hmm. Or de la leche, that, that's extra. That's extra. Or me diste un susto. Uh -huh. Me has dado o me diste. Mm -hmm. What other verb do we use? And is there is there a use of pegar? Yes, pegar. Me pegaste un susto. Oh. Me pegaste mm. un susto. Me pegaste. Me pegaste un susto. Sí. Uh -huh. Susto. <laughs> Toma. Muy bien. Uh, number three, mm -hmm. I'm having an important uh, visit tomorrow. I'm having an important visit tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so we're talking about the future mm -hmm. and we're using the I'm having instead of I will have or I'm going to have. So in that one, in Spanish, you would never say, I've never heard estoy teniendo, but it's a really no. bizarre. Tengo. Tengo, tengo una reunión importante mañana, ¿no? Perfecto. Mañana tengo una visita importante. Oh, visita. visita. Sí, muy bien. Ah. So, if you want to review the, the future in Spanish, 
But basically, yeah. you'll have, like in English, you'll have the will to be going to and, and the present continuous. I am yeah. doing this or I'm... Yeah, we, in English, we'll use the present continuous to talk about something that we're having. But in Spanish, mm, it's, the, not, the present. it's not common. The, yeah. the, the, the simple present. present. Yeah. Muy bien. Um, numero, uh, number four. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Okay, so questions. Uh, ¿Qué tal estás? Okay, ¿qué tal estás? Mm-hmm. ¿Cómo te encuentras? ¿Cómo te encuentras? Muy bien. How do you find yourself? How do you I, find I just, yourself? I just look down and there I am. Muy yeah. bien, sí. Uh, uh, aquí. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Cómo te sientes? Muy bien. Mm. O ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Mm-hmm. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. So, it would be como te sientes, instead of so sentirse, ¿ya? Yeah? Yes. Sentirse. Me siento bien, me siento mal. ¿Sí? Mm-hmm. ¿Cómo te sientes? Muy bien. O ¿cómo te encuentras? Estupendo. Um, number five. I like to run twice a week. Ok. So I would say, me gusta ¿Sí? eh, correr o hacer footing. Ok. Footing would be like jogging. I don't know. Vale. Well, let's just yeah. say correr for the sake of. Uh-huh. Like, vale. Me gusta correr dos veces eh, por semana o a bien. la semana, ¿no? Perfecto. Me gusta correr dos veces por semana o me gusta correr dos veces a la semana. Mm. Sí. Mm-hmm. Muy bien. Eh, remember that correr is not uh, reflexive. Definitely, definitely um, not reflexive. It, it, it is reflexive. It could be but, reflexive. But not in this context. I, I will say, it could be reflexive. And in reflexive, if you use it in reflexive, it doesn't mean anything that has to do with to run. No. It could mean like to shift. Like mm-hmm. we wouldn't, uh, you have to be careful with this verb. In in some places in Latin America, they can use it. And we can, they can use it as well, but it's a bit dodgy. <laughs> um, it could be like, to shift, like mm. if you like, for example, in a car and somebody comes in and you go like, move along, for mm-hmm. example, we could say, correte para allá. But because it also means something sexual, uh, we tend to avoid, uh, avoid avoid that verb and use... Best like, to avoid it. Echate para allá, for example, uh-huh. we would say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, instead of correte. But it would be correct to say correte para allá. <laughs> it's just <laughs> just sounds a bit um, probably creates an unusual yes, imagery it could, it could unusual be, imagery in the, in the listener's mind yeah I mean and if you are a, a foreigner and, it, and you say that it would be correct but maybe they'll have a giggle and you would know what <laughs> um, number six uh, you should have come you should have come okay so I would say deberías Haber venido. Muy bien, muy bien. But what's another way we say? That's perfect, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. What's, what's the, the, the quick way we the say The short that? one is to forget about deberías and just say haber venido. Haber venido. So if you see that, haber venido, like the verb haber and then like, haber in infinitive and then venido, obviously conjugated, or haber, haberlo pensado, haber... Estudiado. Haber estudiado. Remember that we're missing the deberías, you mm-hmm. should. So we would say, have come, instead of you should have come, okay? Mm-hmm. So it's missing a part. Mm. Muy bien. Uh, number seven. Three days to go until the premiere. The premiere. The premiere, like the, the release, ah. the, the newly release of something. Okay, so three days to go. So I would say, oh, give him a chance. Okay. <laughs> eh, quedan tres días Muy bien. para la, es, el, el, el estreno. ¿no? Muy bien. Quedan tres días para el estreno o... What, what's another verb that we... Faltan. Faltan. Tres faltan días. tres días. Uh-huh. So faltar and quedar. Verbs that we use a lot that don't translate directly in English because you don't use them the same way even though mm. you have to miss, to lack, left over or be short of, things like that. You don't use them the same way as we do. But, so, 
I think it's it's very it's a very handy verb because yeah. we use it with lots of things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. Quedar and faltar mm. and sobrar. Quedar, sobrar and faltar. Very handy verbs. Mm-hmm. And number eight. It got dark on us. I know you don't, you wouldn't. I don't know if you would say that in English, but it got dark. It got dark on, on us. us. You could okay. say that. It yeah. It got dark on us. Okay, this is a challenge for me, I've got to say, because getting dark is, is that verb oscurecerse, no, oscurecer. Oscurecer, uh, right, you could say anochecer, uh-huh. which is so. like becoming nighttime, yes? Mm-hmm. To become nighttime is anochecer. Mm-hmm. Amanecer is the opposite, amanecer, mm-hmm. anochecer. Okay, but, but I would say to avoid that. <laughs> well, you could say anocheció. But then you couldn't say you nos say, anocheció. No. So, se say, nos, se nos hizo de noche. Perfecto. Se, se hizo de noche, would mm-hmm. be the general one. Hacerse it got dark, de noche. Hacerse de noche. O se nos, o nos, se nos hizo de noche. Okay. Another very good verb, hacerse de, se me hace mm-hmm. fácil, se me hizo imposible. Se me hizo corto, se me hizo largo, sí. se me hizo o Eterno. se hizo de noche. Mm. So, hacerse o hacerse te algo, a very handy um, verb that mm-hmm. so you can use um, mm-hmm. with different things. Number nine. Should you have any questions, call this number. So, here I've used uh, usted. Okay. <laughs> In that, have... in that, I would, in Spanish, I would say, si usted tiene algún problema, what? Okay. Um, should you have any questions, call this number. Llame a este número. Okay. So I've made it into more um, uh, unlikely. Okay. Like... Si, si, si usted tuviera... Oh, muy bien. I mean, mm-hmm. both are correct. Uh-huh. But, but si tuviese o tuviera cualquier pregunta, uh-huh. llame a este número. Ok. O si le surgiese o surgiera, which is arise, ¿no? Alguna pregunta o cualquier pregunta, llame a este número. Ok, but the second one will be like, should any questions arise? arise. arise. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, should... Yeah. Should in English. Should, well, we say should should and could in English create create and a tremendous and can tremendous amount of problems in Spanish because in Spanish it's fairly clear and could and should and can are, are, are a blend of all kinds of stuff. Yes, because uh, for us like should is like you should you should have done this. You should study more. You should come with us. You should yeah. you know that kind mm-hmm. of uh, not advice but but in these cases, no. It's like should you have? It's like if really. It's it's yeah. mimicking the if. If yeah yeah. So it would be if for us. Yes, it wouldn't be a should in Spanish because mm-hmm. that would be an advice if I could put it that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, number ten. Mm-hmm. I wish I had met you before, or I wish that I had met you before. Okay. So I wish I'd met you before. Yeah. So I would say, ojalá. Te conociera antes, o te hubiera conocido I antes. Had, exactly, I had met you before. So, mm-hmm. ojalá te hubiese o hubiera conocido antes. Mm-hmm. Muy bien. Ojalá. So, I wish. And like in English, when you say I wish, then you use the subjunctive in English. Yeah. I wish I had. Yeah, subjunctive. So, subjunctive for us as well. Ojalá, in this case, te hubiese. Mm-hmm. Sí, hubiese o hubiera. Muy bien. Do you have another one there? Or no? I have that? 12. So ah, I have no, but more. another option there. No. Oh, no, just no. that one. I was, I was no. interested to see have, if there was another way of saying no, that. No, no more options, okay. but we have two more questions. All right. um, two more sentences. Number 11. Uh, there were four of us uh, at the meeting. Okay. This is a tricky question. Did he add your... Era, how many? Four. Éramos cuatro en la reunión. Perfecto. Éramos cuatro en la reunión. Okay, so we would say we were four 
uh, in the meeting. Mm -hmm. yeah? We were four. We wouldn't say there were four of us. We would say we were four. Yeah, it's yeah. A, of us. I mean, there were four in the meeting. That's fine. Había oh, cua, there, había there were four. Personas. Yeah, I'm not included. There exactly. were four people in the meeting. Yeah. Había cuatro personas yeah. en la reunión. There were four of us, so when you're included. Of us. Then we were. We would say we were four. We were mm. four. Mm. Okay. Um, and the last one, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore, and I have two. Okay. Okay. And uh, people that did the book club, if you're watching this, you should know this one. So I can't take it anymore. Eh, no lo aguanto más. Okay, that would be stand. But mm -hmm. yes, no lo aguanto más. Muy bien. Eh, no puedo con esto. No ya no puedo, puedo con esto. <laughs> Come on, the song. Eh, eh. You like that song? Y ya. Ya no puedo más. No puedo más. No, no puedo, puedo más. más. O no puedo soportarlo más. Mm. Okay, I can't take it. I can't stand it. Will be aguantarlo. Yeah, mm -hmm. I suppose more or less the same. Uh -huh. But you, we can say no puedo más. I can't no más. anymore. Mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. anymore, and that would mean I can't take it. Mm -hmm. See? No puedo más. Mm -hmm. Very common. See. Mm -hmm. And then. You, if you want to add to that, no puedo más con, for example, I can say, I can't uh, yeah. stand, I can't take, can you say I can't take, can't take my neighbors anymore? I can't take my neighbors anymore. Yeah, yeah, you can okay. say that. Okay, yeah. I can't take my neighbors anymore. I can't take the noise, whatever. No puedo más con mis vecinos. Mm. I can't anymore with my neighbors. Mm -hmm. So we kind of miss the, the verb, yeah? Yeah. Or yeah. no puedo soportar, or no puedo aguantar más a mis vecinos. Mm -hmm. See? And then we have to use a personal a there rather than the con. Support I mean, that a yes. los vecinos. Mm. Yes, exactly. Pues muy bien, Tintia, me ha gustado mucho. <laughs> gracias. Me ha gustado mucho. Muchas gracias. How have you, uh, how have you done? Or how did you do, as we say? I'm, I'm saying how have you done because that's how it's asked in Spanish. <laughs> how have you done? <laughs> ¿Cómo yeah. lo has hecho, no? <laughs> how did you do? Yeah, my English is going down the pan. Yeah. So, wherever, you, wherever you're falling short on them just means that that's an area that you need to study. As some people saying, just start looking at those areas. If you are interested in finding out more information about that, go on our website, go in the search bar and write down those particular themes and you'll find that lessons will appear that we've done. We've done a lot of lessons. Okay? Exactamente. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, Gordon. And now... A word from our sponsors. Gracias, Sue. Sue, qué voz, qué voz más, más bonita. Más bonita, eh? sí, es verdad. Sí, muy bonita, muy sí. bonita. So now we actually have something completely different to talk to you about. No, no books or anything like that. We're going to talk about something new that actually has been an idea of Cynthia. Okay. So if you like the content that we provide you each week then now you have the chance of supporting the channel. What we've done is we've started to use the YouTube join button. And with the join button, you can join at two levels and support the channel. The first level is called Seguid Asi. And with that level, which is $1.99 a month, you can get emojis and badges and also your suggestions for lessons will be prioritized. And we'll do those first, always, okay? Or the next level is Charlemos, and that's at $4.99. What you get for that is all the previous level, plus every two weeks we are going to do a live stream only for the members. And you'll be able to join us and ask questions and be part of the lesson. We're actually going to do the same lesson twice in that week at different times so that everybody has the chance of being able to join us. So we want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for the support all of the support that we've had over the years. And that's it, no? That's it, that, that's about. only taken about 17 takes. <laughs> we struggled with this one. No sé por qué. Es algo nuevo, es, es nuevo, nuevo, es nuevo. Es nuevo, pero hemos luchado no hemos conseguido, con las palabras. Muy bien, muy bien. Entonces, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. adiós. That. 
to help us to keep on giving you the content that you, that you not take that out. You all all of that exactly. Cut that. Yeah. Uh, you start with that. All right. Is a level at four ninety nine, and that one. Oh, well, have we got the name of it? Do Do you need to like make it quick and punch it because I, people oh, just right, go. All right. I, no, but the people listen to us because they're waiting for outtakes and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Of people people listen more to the end of it than we do the the lesson. <laughs> I hope not. That would be sad, yeah. wouldn't it? Okay. Like, shut up and do, just do outtakes. Borders. The first level is called Seguir Así. Seguid. Seguid. Ah, yeah. Okay. Seguid. <laughs> Brought it down wrong. I'm doing Wrongly. the... <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's called Seguir Así. No, it's seguid. called Seguir Así. Seguid. Por favor. Right, let's do it again. Okay, go. Otherwise. Jesus Christ Almighty. Okay. Seguid Así which is at one ninety nine a month. Swallow. So we've got times for the UK and other places, Europe, and then for the US, okay? Like one in the, like, no, could that. All right. What about people in Australia? So we, we're doing that. We're doing two in the same day at different times so that everybody in the world can access the live. Wait a moment. In the same day? That's not what you said to me. You said we're going to do one day, one, one. <laughs> right. So... Write it down. This is a, this is a messy one to edit, <laughs> right. isn't it? For fuck's sake. If you like the content and you'd like us to continue to promote the videos... I, I know what I've got to say. Right, but and then... Oh my God, I'm going to laugh. It's so <laughs> funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was going to be the quickest video ever. And it's taken... <laughs> because we're like... What was it's it? what new. Was it's it? new. What? We've never what done this before. Say? We've never done this before. So if you like this content, if you like the content that we offer you, you now have the opportunity... Oh my fucking hell. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Breathe in, breathe out. All right. All right. Even higher the level. Oh, no, no. And you will be able to join us and ask questions and... Uh, what else? You'll be able to join, join us. Join us. Yeah. The chat and okay. ask questions. Let's just do that bit. Okay. And then what do we say after that? So thank you very much for your support and thank you in <laughs> So thank you very much for your support for everybody who supports us and if you choose to join us thank you even more. <laughs> más. <laughs> Te queremos más. <laughs> Sois mejores personas. <laughs> Te damos un halo. A ver, gordo, vale. tranquilo. ¿Ya? Ya. Oh, eso valía. Sí, ahí va. <laughs> Pero joda, gordo, venga. Que te estás okay. riendo, tío, okay. eso no es serio. <risa> sí, no, no, pero bueno, bueno, tenemos que reírnos, Cintia. Sí, pero joder. Ok. So. ¡Por <risa> <risa> God's sake! Ok. Gordon. A ver, ya, ya. Ok. Ok, entonces, nos vemos en los live, ¿no? No, Gordon, nos vamos y nos vemos. No sé, no, nos vemos en el live. No, ve. Entonces, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. That's it. And then let them choose okay. whatever they want to do. Okay. Honestly. Okay. And that, that's me writing it down.